when you think about SOT, you really have to focus on the mission of the organization, and it really is to make the world a safer and healthier place by advancing science and, and toxicology, the impact of toxicology. So if we're gonna to continue to do that, I think it's essential that we stay abreast of the newest knowledge and we're inclusive of bringing new technology, new people to our society to advance that ultimate goal of the society. SOT uses many approaches to bring in new, new talent to our, to our membership. Uh, it, it, right from the beginning, from recruitment, we try to recruit people from different disciplines, whether they're students or, or uh, experts who are in middle or later careers, to bring them in. And then we, have, we actually mentor them, to, so if they're not familiar with toxicology, but we can take their tools and adapt it to um, the goals of our members. Uh, we also do it the way we program our, our meeting. We ensure that we bring in people who are existing members and, and members from other, other sectors, so that's intentional. We also do it through our, our Tox Expo, where we bring in expertise and new, new approaches and, and bring them to our members so they can see new approaches that they might adapt. So it really helps our members, um, you know, they're advancing their own fields, but by leveraging the expertise of others, they can really leverage that, uh, those new approaches to, to, again, to advance their own research, but to advance the mission of the society as a whole. I think it's critical that we try to really actively try to strengthen the community. So the, the field is changing. The, the discipline is rapidly evolving. Our members are coming from different sectors. Our trainees are gonna be in a workforce that we don't recognize today. And by, by really bringing these two people, our new people into the society, we'll be able to make sure our members are, are really competitive to advance their careers. And uh, I think it's essential to maintain the health of the society, but more importantly, the careers of our members.